once again you're welcome back to our youtube channel well in today's video we're diving into a controversy that has taken social media by storm well it all started when a twitter user named xavier posted an unconfirmed list of prizes for the outfits won by eff leader julius malema and his wife at the duban july event well this tweet has sparked a heated debate about the lifestyles of political figures and their spending habits. Well, in this video, we'll actually explore the details of this controversy, the public's reaction, and what it means for the perception of our leaders. Make sure to watch to the end and please share your thoughts in the comment section. Well, let's talk about this particular tweet that sparked a debate online. Well, Xavier's tweet listed the alleged items of the couple's outfits, which included a ball gown, 62,000 rands, earrings, 102,000 rands, doors and gabbana, double breast tux jacket, 57,900 rands, pants, 16,200 rands, bow tie, 2,900 rands, shirt, 4,000 rands, and of course, their shoes, 28,000 rands. Well, in addition, Xavier compared these prizes with other financial figures. He talked about the member of parliament's monthly salary, which is 102,000 rands, cost of a single RDP house, 285,000 rands. Well, this particular tweet quickly gained attention with many users commenting on the perceived extravagance of these prizes. Well, let's talk a little bit about the historical context. To understand the significance of this controversy, it is important to look at the historical context. While well, Julius Malema, as a leader of the EFF, has been a vocal critic of corruption and economic inequality in South Africa. While well, the EFF is known for its strong stance on issues like land reform and wealth redistribution. Therefore, seeing Malema and his wife in expensive outfits has struck a chord with many people who view it as contradictory to the party's principles. While the public reaction to Xavier's tweet has been mixed, some people see the life and of course the list as a blatant display of opulence and are outraged by the perceived hypocrisy. One user commented saying something like, this is not about the cost of clothes, it's about the hatred for Julius. Another person added, I hate corruption, but guys, let's be fair, do you think some of these politicians only rely on their monthly salary? Surely, they have businesses that also generate income to afford some of the luxury lifestyle. That's my take. Guys, what exactly happens to be your take? Do you feel like these politicians actually embezzle money? Or do you think maybe they have their own businesses that they run, that they use in order to like get money and of course fund their expensive lifestyle? Well, these reactions highlight the deep divisions in how people perceive political figures and their lifestyles. Why some are quick to criticize, others suggest that leaders might have additional sources of income that justify their spending. Well, the controversy surrounding Julius Malema's outfit and of course its cost is not just about the numbers, it is about the symbolism. For many, the high price tax are a reminder of the economic disparities that still exist in South Africa. Where the comparison of the outfit cost to the price of an RDP house and of course an MP's monthly salary brings this issue into sharp focus. It raises questions about the priorities of our leaders and whether their lifestyles align with the struggles of the average citizen. Guys, this is something that we have to actually talk about. I mean, do you guys think that Julius Malema and of course his expensive lifestyle is being funded by just let's say his monthly salary. Well, I don't think if someone was earning anything reasonable, the person would be able to spend such an amount on something that is just going to be on his body. I feel like maybe there's something more to this particular issue that we're talking about. What do you think about this controversy? Do you believe that political figures should be more mindful of their spending, especially when they hold public office? Or do you think it's responsible and of course reasonable for them to enjoy the fruits of their labor as long as it is legal? Well, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. So please leave a comment below and join the conversation. Well, uh, 
In conclusion, I feel like Xavier's tweet has sparked a significant debate about the lifestyles of political figures and of course the perceptions of their spending habits. While well, the accuracy of the list remains unverified, the public's reaction underscores the importance of transparency and accountability in leadership. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section about what you think or feel concerning this clip.